here is a very quick review on the Thelium 201. Some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages, some non-scientific and some of them are scientific. Now first of all, as compared to a pet CT, Thelium is uh, quite inexpensive and it is relatively uh, easily available as well. Now to differentiate between uh, recurrent tumors from the post-operative treatment changes, some investigators have suggested that it has a diagnostic accuracy superior to a CT whereas <clears throat> in especially in cases of uh, uh, the tumors that are present uh, uh, near the base of the skull or involving the brain now reason one scientific reason behind it is that thallium 201 is not metabolized by the brain and then it may be superior to a PET CT for evaluating the recurrent skull based tumors now one of the primary disadvantages of the thallium 201 imaging is the background uptake of thallium from the salivary glands as well as from the thyroid glands. Normal uptake in the salivary and the thyroid glands has a potential to reduce the ability to evaluate the oral cavity and the oropharyngeal larynx as well as the piriform sinus tumors accurately. Now this, despite these limitations, uh, <clears throat> the, the reported diagnostic accuracy of the thallium suggests that it can be used as an alternative technique if the PET scan is unavailable. Thanks for watching this uh, short video on thallium 201. Uh, if you like this video, like hit the like button. If you feel the complete opposite, then hit the dislike. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just subscribe to the channel. We'll catch up to more videos in a very short time. Thanks for watching.